understand. Okay. And now here's Fred with someone who really can throw his weight around, Bob Kolick. Bob Kolick says, don't be fooled by the blue eyes. This is a deadly killing machine. <laughs> Actually, this is Don Nyam, who's uh, from Akron, and he is a specialist in the martial arts, specifically Kung Fu. And he's here with Bob Golick this morning to uh, limber this man up. Well, yeah, I'm pretty limber. <laughs> yeah, as limber as you can be. Really are. <laughs> I mean, here's a guy who would go bear hunting with a buggy whip. Why would he need to know the martial arts? Uh, well, that's a good question. He looks pretty powerful to me. Yeah. Uh, as far as uh, the martial arts applied in the football field, uh, basically teaching them more hand quickness, uh, hand-eye coordination, more power, uh, different type of power instead of just physical external power. It's uh, more of an internal power and more power released in a single blow rather than a pushing type power. Mm -hmm. Boom. Focusing of the power. Also focus yeah. of the poor power. Uh, you develop better eye focus on every movement. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be working with the Browns in the coming training season to yes. try to affect that. Mm -hmm. Is this a new part of the training for you? It really is. I mean, over the last couple of years, you've seen us go through everything from ballet to, you know, and just about anything else on the throw, which is all good for the, for the quickness and the balance. But this was something that was a little more um, focused towards our our needs, um, the leverage, the ability to move, um, focusing the power, you know, because a lot of guys are big. I mean, you know, the, the guys you play against are big also. You don't want to just keep button heads, button heads, but by the end of the game, you're going, <laughs> it's time to go home. And, <laughs> and you know, now we're, we're learning a way to utilize our power yeah. a little bit better. And uh, even in the first couple weeks of, of, of doing this, uh, Don was noticing that, that the quickness in the hands, the, the, the power with which we were hitting was a lot stronger. So it, 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 it's already been uh, utilized pretty well. Well, last week we saw you with uh, your other coach. Uh, Dave Redding. Dave Redding, the strength coach. And you went out and did a little workout. But now we're going to try to take that power and strength and musculature that has been built up and try to make it agile right and focus and show us a few things that you might be doing with some of these guys okay. here Don. all right stay out of the way Craig. yeah really <laughs> <laughs> did you sign the waiver <laughs> okay okay oh well you know the things he's been doing first of all he'll be doing i'm just going to give him the, the attack like i'm an offensive yep. lineman come up with the hands mm -hmm. you can see some of the things you'll be using just as far as uh, hand movement and that so as i come out now, the strike to the stomach is not a punch. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a way to block the guy from coming back and, and blocking on you. So, so I'll, do the, I'll do the thing that Bob was just doing, and then he could show the application of it. Okay, as, as, we're, as I'm saying in a password situation, as I'm coming up field and the hands come out, it's stepping, blocking, come, blocking back on the arm, and then coming by. So what's happened is a lot of times you see guys get locked up and pushing on each other. This way we're learning a lot of the twisting, a lot of the turning, taking away a lot of his power. So as he, as he comes out, it's, it's more black and then by. Don't allow the guy to get his hands on him. Yeah. Okay, number two. Number two. And the second one they can use is, I, is I'm an offensive lineman. You see, at this point, one of these, and you always see in the games, and, and they, they always do it. The offensive linemen always do it. Um, I don't want to call it cheating, but holding <laughs> is a part of the game. <laughs> Where's Deacon? Uh, <laughs> he'll tell you. Uh, yeah, so the, one of the big, our big things is to keep the hands away. Okay, I, you want me to come up? Okay, sure. I come up with the hands. He this, deflects and t makes his body a smaller target rather than head on, then pushes out of the way. <clears throat> so you can see how it's... Mm -hmm. Instead of just butting heads all day long, this is something that allows a lot more flexibility, a lot more control of the body. Well, sometimes you see uh, uh, people actually throwing people down. You're not going to be doing any of that sort of thing. I mean, obviously you're going to knock people down, but you would, he would not use uh, classical uh, martial arts techniques to put somebody on the ground or cudgel them into insensibility or anything like that. Now, these have been uh, streamlined, and uh, the program that I set up for them has been streamlined somewhat, and rearranged a little bit to be applied for football it was real helpful just talking to bob and him explaining everything that they do and we just worked it out that way so that everything was you know legal and so these are special movements and that have been created for what yeah they've, they've been slightly rearranged from the style that i teach to be applied in football because he you sat and worked with us and and we tried to teach you a football stance and you know <laughs> but you know it's it's like you don't you don't sit there and, and punch down on guys you know our, our main objective is to get past an offensive lineman mm -hmm. and get to the quarterback mm -hmm. and then we can use the rest of this no he doesn't <laughs> if you get to the point where quarterbacks and i have to be armed 
<laughs> but, <laughs> Do you know if other teams utilize this as well, or is this something that's really pretty novel? I think the, uh, the uh, Chargers and the Dallas Cowboys are doing something. And, uh, it, you know, everybody's got their own style of teaching, and uh, mine specifically deals a lot with hand techniques, mm -hmm. and that was what was real effective for... Uh, for them. It would seem that what this would do is really allow you to, to really focus your mm -hmm. strength instead of kind of just using it all over. Really that's, the, that's the one thing that we seem to find is that you, there's a lot more body control. Um, you, you know what your body's doing instead of just flailing around mm -hmm. you know, wildly hoping that because you're big and you're strong you can get through. Now we've got more purpose in what we're doing I think as far yeah. as the pass rush situations go. Think it's going to help? I sure hope so. I only had one sack last year. <laughs> if I get if I get two this year, it's, it's because of you. Hey, all right. <laughs> Five seven eight one thousand is our phone number. Call us up. We're going to go over there in a moment and take some telephone calls. Don Iam is here from Akron. He is a specialist in kung fu, and he's helping with Browns be more adroit, more more agile, uh, more swift. And uh, Bob Golick is here as well, uh, and we'll uh, talk with him about the season. Any questions you might have? We'll be right back. Bob, is there a lot of optimism amongst you fellows as you talk about the upcoming training sessions and the upcoming season? The upcoming season, yes. The upcoming training session, <laughs> nobody likes that. So why be optimistic? It's your basic torture. It, it is. And, and we start, uh, I'm going to be going in Thursday with the rookies. Uh, the veterans go on the 28th, but uh, all veterans that had substantial injuries last year have to go in early. Mm -hmm. It would seem to me that it would make more sense that guys with injuries should like have an extra week off. To heal well, up. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. They, they work it the other way, huh? See, that would be the perfect thing. Now, the arm is okay now. It feels good, huh? I've done everything except hit somebody. <laughs> I, in fact, we've, I mean, we've done a lot of things where we've, you've been using the arms and... Uh, feels strong. It yeah. feels strong? Feels strong. No, I, I whine a little bit, but uh, <laughs> I've been too bad. Let's take some calls. Hello there. Oh, good morning. I just had a question as how it would pertain to um, somebody learning the martial arts and then their hands being used as weapons. Applying this to the football field doesn't really seem all that fair. Hey, what do you think? It's not. <laughs> no, we didn't. Uh, like I said, uh, what we were doing was a streamlined program and basically teaching how to move your body from side to side rather than head on and making your body a direct, you know, a direct target for someone to get their hands on or work with. Uh, how to deflect the energy, how to block. Mm -hmm. You know, we weren't punching or hitting just pushing and just you know different ways of manipulation it's how to focus I mean you saw we were doing those things how for me to focus I mean the difference between a strike where I'm just blocking his arm and punching his arm is two different things mm -hmm. and basically what we're learning is just how to focus on that point to be able to block a guy not to use it as a hit a punch or, or any kind of a strike and that's still against the law you can't do that in no you can't they, these guys will blow the whistle mm -hmm. throw the flag this, make this you move help back. prevent more injuries as well uh, I think uh, one of the things I think is going to help is, is we've worked a lot of uh, flexibility also, which has also been a part of our argument, but I think this is something that allows us to work on different aspects of the flexibility, and, and, and that always helps with injuries. Good morning. Your question, please. Yeah, what I want to know is, um, I play football, and I know that the pads and everything can get real bulky. I want to know if this is going to be, a, be able to, um, you know, be able to do this on you know, game day with all the full pads on. All right. Uh, I'll let you know August 7th after the first game. <laughs> no, it, uh, uh, I mean, that's another thing. The, the things we're doing aren't that complex. I mean, the, the, the ones that, that we initially worked with Don are, have been, you know, the simpler uh, moves. I mean, I've seen him do some things which I'd never hoped to do. But these are things we can do with pads on. Um, and like I said, it's not that we have to go through these forms and these, and these motions perfectly. It's just the idea of, of being able to turn the body, twist the body, redirect uh, the, the flow of energy, and, and that happens, you can do that without pads or with pads. All right, your question. Hi there. Yes, uh, I want to talk to Bob. I want to ask him, uh, this is uh, working with the defensive players mostly, you know, I wonder how the defensive ends coming along, especially Marlon Jones and the guys from Tennessee State, what kind of progress are they making? All right. In, in the field of martial arts, or, you know, Marlon, I mean, <laughs> you've read up against Marlon a couple of times, Marlon Jones, and yeah. he is a very intense individual, and these guys, and basically, as we've talked before about the team doing it, basically this has been directed towards the defensive linemen, and, you know, you saw. I would say uh, Marlon Jones appears 
fast and powerful to me. I mean, Daryl Sims was, was doing yeah. very well. I mean, all the guys were working real good. And they were there pretty regular for everything. Mm -hmm. You know, they seemed to work out a lot. Good morning. Your question, please. Yes, I have a question for uh, Bob and one for Don. All right. Uh, I wanted to ask Bob, do you think these martial arts techniques are going to uh, enable you guys to get to Elway this year? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I heard Elway's taking uh, some form of martial arts, too, so I don't know if we want to get there. Uh, yeah, of course. You know, it's, we're, we're hoping that, uh, not hoping, but I mean, like I said, we're not changing everything totally. Um, we're just finding other ways to, to work with the techniques we already have. Fine, too. Mm -hmm. He had a question for Doc. What, did he have a question for you, or did Doc cut him off? You cut him off. Oh, heck. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. He had a question for you, Don. We'll never know what it is. Oh, well. Well, let's take one more here. This person has a question for somebody. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, I just have one question. Uh, this is going like taking what you're saying back into high school. Um, what about uh, karate for these big high school football players and stuff? Isn't it when they get so big? Um, isn't karate hard for them to take and not get hurt? Like, in other words, if I would sign my son up for uh, karate to help him with his football, and he's like six foot two, six foot three, wouldn't he get hurt in karate? Isn't that for really smaller guys? Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. And uh, no, it's it's for everybody. The conditioning and everything is great. It's only going to make him a better athlete and uh, a better martial artist. Don, do you teach uh, down in Akron? In addition yeah. to teaching the Browns? You have I a have studio? a uh, yeah, I have a school in Akron, uh, up by Akron University. So folks could ring you up. Yeah, and sure. Learn uh, how you can get involved in a program to get that grace and agility that comes with that kind of sure uh, work. It mm -hmm. works. Uh huh. Bob, thanks a lot. Good to see you My again. My pleasure. Bob Golick, who uh, presently will be testing that uh, that right arm out. Looks sure. good. You look strong. You look symmetrical. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I hate being off balance. <laughs> and we'll take a break and. Uh...